started with drinking beer. <laughs> Basically, uh, you become involved in that culture and always wanting to find that perfect beer, the best beer in the world. You evolve your palate. And then we started home brewing and, and trying, to do the, trying to replicate that same sort of the best beer that you can make. And we got involved with some of the, when we were living in Halifax, uh, got involved with some of the craft breweries there, talked to the head brewers in those locations, became even more involved on the commercial side, helping out apprenticing with different breweries. So that kind of started that business aspect that got us really excited that we could do this. Uh, well, we, like, again, we came to Newfoundland for different reasons, but we basically um, fell in love with the, the rural lifestyle, the atmosphere, the, the raw beauty of Newfoundland. Um, and and the, the friendly people. So we were thinking of having this idea in Nova Scotia, but when we came to Newfoundland, we brought the idea with us. And just as soon as we got here, it was yes, we can. This is exactly where we need to be. And we'll be the one of the first breweries outside of the Avalon Peninsula. So we're excited to bring the product of craft beer uh, made locally in Newfoundland to outside of St. John's. The 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 buzz and the excitement about craft beer has evolved for different reasons. Whether that be craft beer enthusiasts starting their own homebrew clubs, and getting people interested and excited, and um, we've kind of seen the the wave coming from the west coast of Canada towards the east coast. So you know it started in Vancouver, maybe even Ontario, and then comes out to Atlantic Canada. Newfoundland would be one of the last provinces I think to get involved in this industry, compared in Atlantic Canada. But we're getting there, and and we can see it, see the surge coming now.